Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 15 with me Craig Barton. Now the other day I was going through uh, the resources uploaded by Owen134866 and he's one of my all-time favourite TES um, uploaders and if you haven't downloaded all his resources then stop whatever you're doing, well may maybe watch the end of the video first but then stop whatever you're doing and download them all because they're absolutely out of this world and th this is just absolutely brilliant what he's done here it's called geometrical square routing and maybe i've been missing something here but i'd never heard of this technique before and i was looking for something to some enrichment stuff to do with my delightful year 11 class that i've got because they've been working hard for the november exam and i wanted to do something a bit different with them and this just fit the bill absolutely perfectly so let's take a look at it um, it's a powerpoint and it has a worksheet and it's based on the work of uh, rene descartes and again perhaps i perhaps i should be aware of this technique but I, i'd never seen it before so like most of Owen's uh, work that he uploads, it always comes with a, a starter, a main activity and a plenary. So the starter is getting the students to practice doing some work on square roots, which gives them um, a little bit of a hint of what this lesson is going to be about. Um, but then it, it takes you through a, a bit of history and then it takes you through this method and see if you've seen this before here. So say you want to estimate the square root of nine. Now obviously we know what the square root of nine is but that's a good one to start with because it can check whether this method's working. So you draw a length nine centimeters long and I use this on a centimeter square paper with the students and it worked really well on that. And you mark the end of that line with a little x or a dot or something and then you extend it by one centimeter. And then you draw yourself a semicircle that goes from one end of the line to the other end of the line and then and this is the bit I just couldn't get my head around if you then measure from the the dot from the end of your nine centimeter line vertically up to the semicircle then that height there will always be the exact square root of this number here and if you want the square root of 10 you just do one 10 centimeters long and add on a centimeter and do the same thing and it's absolutely brilliant and it got me thinking this that the work involved in doing this is something that a year seven class could access because it's just measuring straight lines and, and drawing arcs and it's really good practice of use of accurate use of rulers and compasses but of course when i did this with my year 11 top set of course they're geeks like me as well they were screaming out wow well, why why on earth does this work what has this got to do with the square root so i set them at five minutes working in groups could they figure it out and it's very very difficult unless you kind of drop them hints as to where to get going but what's really nice about it is the algebra is not actually that bad and with a little bit of Pythagoras and a little bit of simplifying algebraic fractions and all that kind of stuff it's beautiful how it all boils down to the square root of x and my students who need practice at kind of the grade a and a star algebraic manipulation this was absolutely perfect because they had an incentive to try and understand why it worked because they bought into the whole technique because they'd, they'd seen it working when they were measuring the, the the lengths of the lines so it just led to an absolutely lovely lesson and yeah i, I hope you find it useful as well it also comes with a, a worksheet here which takes the students step by step through how to do it and then they get to practice constructing those square roots and, and measuring the length of the lines so you're boxing off a bit of construction with lots of lovely algebra but also just a nice bit of historical mathematics and yeah i just I, I absolutely loved being in that room whilst the kids were doing it and i think the kids really enjoyed it too so there it is geometrical square routing if you use this resource please can i ask you to um, just at the bottom of the page just just fill out a few comments maybe saying how the lesson went down maybe a comment from the pupils or perhaps some ideas you've had for extending it or even just to say thank you for to, to owen for uploading it and I hope you found that useful and I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Bye for now.